This is a short video to introduce the Getting Started Portfolio group of assignments. After you watch it and listen to this uh, short introduction, read over the assignments. They're linked in the discussion below, and if you have any questions, ask there. First, to recap how this course will work, there are three groups or portfolios of short writing assignments this term. There's the Getting Started Portfolio, the first one, which this is about, you guessed it, getting started with your research for the term. The next portfolio is called the Academic Research Portfolio, and that's where you'll continue with your research and writing about your topic in different ways, and that's where you'll also write something that's kind of like a research paper, but not quite. And the last portfolio uh, is the one where you get where you represent your work in a different way. Uh, you use your research to go in writing projects that go beyond just our class. The point here is that there's no giant research paper assignment in this class. If you keep sitting there wondering when is he going to give us that big assignment, you're going to wait quite a while. Instead, there are a series of shorter assignments where you research, uh, where you use the research you find on your topic and where you reflect on the process about what you've learned. It's probably a bit different from the research writing class you took in high school, though maybe there are some similarities as well. Uh, the first portfolio consists of these assignments, and the ones we'll probably spend the most time with is the first one, the topic proposal. As you see, as you'll see when we get into it, it takes time and some careful thinking to come up with a good topic to research for this class. And I really want to stress the importance for you of going through that process. If you take your time to pick a topic that will interest you for the entire semester, this class could be really very interesting and even kind of fun. But once you pick a topic, uh, I, and I give you the green light to research it, that's the topic you'll stick with for the rest of the semester. So if you pick something just because you think it comes to mind or you think it'll be easier or whatever, then this class can be a real slog. Um, so think carefully about what you decide to be your topic. The annotated bibliography is about starting to gather your research in different ways. The short critique assignment is where you will do a deeper dive into one of those pieces of research. And the last element, the reflection essay, is where you'll explain to me and your classmates what happened in the process uh, as you work through these assignments. Um, we'll talk more about these issues as we go along with three quick reminders. You should write these assignments imagining an audience of both your fellow students and me. That is, assume that your readers will know the general idea about the expectations of these short essays, but we won't know the specifics about your topic or the working thesis or the evidence that you're using. Second, we'll spend a lot of time in small groups reading and commenting on each other's drafts of these essays and exercises because that's the best way I know of the, to learn more about your writing. You write something, you show it to others who will give you feedback, and then you make changes to your writing based on that feedback. In the nutshell, that's how we teach writing. Uh, one last thing to remember, all the due dates and schedule for when we'll be doing these different things is on the class homepage on Canvas.